the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Ready or not. Ready or not. Ready or not. Uh -huh. The Lord is coming. Yes, he is. There's no mistake about it. Father of all lives. Yes, amen. Uh -huh. I hate it for people that believe him. Me too. A lot of people, the Bible says, they follow after his commission's ways. Yes. The blind are leading the blind. Uh -huh. The ditch they're about to fall in is one they'll never get back out of. Thank you. Amen. 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 Praise God. I appreciate the songs. And the message that I have today is a good song for that. My wife paid you for it. Aren't you glad for that? That's right. Isn't that a beautiful thought that you don't know anything else? Come on. Salvation is paid for. I couldn't do anything for it if I wanted to. That's right. He done it. It was perfect. He said it is finished. Yes. That means I couldn't do anything else to it anyway. Praise God. I am going to take you in Scripture today to the book of Luke. Read three verses of Scripture to get started on this thought that I have for today. Amen. Luke chapter number three, uh, I'm sorry, two. And I'm going to read uh, verses 48, 49, and 50. Praise God. Good to be back with everybody today. I appreciate it. <coughs> Brother Larry, church there at Woodville, Brother J.R., those from over there at Logan, it's good to see everybody that's here today. Appreciate you taking time to come and be in the service. Praise God. Luke chapter 2, verse number 48 says this. And when they saw him, they were amazed. His mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. He said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wish ye not that I must be about my father's business? They understood not the saying which he spake unto them. Amen. Thank you. You can be seated today. Praise the Lord. Praise God. This setting of scripture we know is the time the Bible said that they were following the custom of the time and the day to make that trip to Jerusalem for the Passover, to celebrate the Passover. And they had done their duties, they had fulfilled their obligations, and they were departing, heading back to the Lord's home. They left the day, they pretty well figured everybody was together and everything was like it should be, and they started their journey headed back home. Uh -huh. The Bible said that the next day they began to wonder where is Jesus? And they began to inquire. They thought maybe he was with one group wasn't there. But he had to look at another place. No, he's not here. Can you imagine the feeling that you feel when your child is not with you when you thought he was? I know the feeling when you turn around in the store and you don't see them in sight anywhere. Because that doesn't carry a very good thought process that follows all of that. Amen. Amen. And they looked around and they began to wonder where he was. The Bible said that they had went a day's journey. And when they woke up the next morning, they finally began to wonder and realize, where is he? They just thought he was there. Amen. They just thought he was with them. The Bible said they began to inquire and everywhere they looked and everybody they asked, nobody seen him, nobody knew where he was. So they picked up and left the group and they began to run back towards Jerusalem where they had just left. The Bible says three days later, uh -huh. they found him. Amen. People today don't understand and realize it's a whole lot harder to get back than it was to get away. Took them three days. One day's journey turned into three days looking. Come on. When the Bible says they found him, he wasn't out running and playing and 
just caught up with the thing that was going on at the hour. But he was in the temple. That's right. Amen. The Bible talks about how he astonished the doctors and the lawyers with his teachings. The Bible said he was in there and he was talking and discussing the scriptures and breaking things down for them. Here comes mom and dad. They finally found him. And you can just imagine the relief that they feel inside. Uh -huh. As they look at him, they said, why have you done this to us? We've been looking everywhere for you. You know how that goes. His statement was this. Why were you looking for me? Didn't you know I've got to be about my father's business? That's right. Amen. Come on. Hey Amen. This little message thought for this today is the father's business. Amen. When we look around, amen, we, everybody's got their own business. That's right. Come on. We're always taught keep your nose out of everybody's business, right? Uh, we don't listen, though, do we? Come on. Lord, help me. We make other businesses our business. Yeah. And we find ourselves being in more trouble than we have if we would have mind our own business. Amen. 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 We find out that too many times our business seems to be more important than any other business. Yeah, that's it, Lord. Come on. We'll waste days and hours and times and weeks and months goes by and we're just the only thing we're focused on is our own business, our own thing. Jesus said, what are you looking for me? Don't you know? Hey, man, I've got to be about the fight. It ain't about my business. It's about his business. Come on. Hey, my Lord. Hey man, we, we got to understand that. Hey man, they thought Jesus was with them. Uh -huh. They started journeying. They started traveling with this misconception that Jesus was with them. How many people today are traveling and don't know whether Jesus is with them or yeah. not? Hey uh -huh. man, they just keep going. They keep going. Hey man, then they start asking, have you seen Jesus? Have you felt him? Do you know where he is? I thought he was with me, but he's not here. I don't see him anywhere. Yeah, yeah. come on. Amen. They begin to inquire. What did they have to do? They had to go back where they left. Yeah. Come on. Sometimes the Bible said you got to repent and do your first works over. Yeah. Because you done yeah. left Jesus and you don't even know where he is. You left him days ago, but you don't even realize he's no longer with you. You know what the sad thing is? A lot of people don't even know what his business is. Come on. Come on. We're at a time in the year where everybody recognizes they meant the birth of Christ. Yeah. Whether it's this coming day or not, it don't matter about that. They still recognize that he came, Brother Larry. Right. And I'm just happy that they still do that. Amen. Yes. But what I begin to think about was this. Nobody really knows anymore why he came. Come on. Amen. Amen. Come on. They have commercialized it so much that the meaning of everything has done been annihilated to the point it's all about me giving you a gift and you giving me one. Come on. Amen. It's all about spending your money on me and I'll buy you something back. Amen. It's done been commercialized. Amen. To the business and the purpose and the reason. He came is no longer expressed. Amen. It's still the reason he came was to seek and save that which was lost. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It's important today that we as saints of God understand the importance of that we stay about the Father's business. Amen. Amen. Because people depend on us. It's important somebody's life is at stake. Somebody's soul is at stake. Somebody's going to face eternity, Brother Dallas, and they're going to stand before him. And whether they've heard about him or not depends on whether you did the Father's business or not. Come on. That's right. Come on. Amen. Bless you, Lord. And so what we see is this. We 
we see people moving, but they don't know whether Jesus is with them or not. Uh -huh. right. We see people progressing, and some of them are concerned, and some of them are not. Amen. The only ones that turned back to look and find him was Mary and Joseph. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Yeah. Amen. There is a, it's a broad way, but he said only a few. Uh -huh. yeah. Now what he said? Right. He's going to find it. Yeah. Amen. We need to understand. Amen. Not everybody is really interested in hearing what you got to say. Right. Come on. The truth. Uh -huh. Amen. People, you can try to testify, witness to them, and they don't want to hear it. And some of them, because of that, we done got our feelings hurt, and we don't say nothing anymore. Come on, bro. Preach. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Come on, we got to stay about the Father's business. Somebody's going to hear you. Yeah. Somebody's going to receive. Somebody's going to be saved. Somebody's going to be set free. Somebody's going to be delivered. But somebody has to tell them about a God that loves them enough that he died for their sins. Yeah. there is in the Bible. It's in John. Uh, yeah. Anybody know what that says? Yeah. 3 and 16. For God so loved the world yes. that he gave yeah. his only begotten son Amen. that whosoever <laughs> believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Right. Yes. That's a famous Amen. verse. I wish they'd read number 17, though, sister. Amen. Come on. Amen. Because we lose sight of the purpose and the commission. Amen. Because he said, he sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. Yeah. That's right. But that the world through him might be saved.
was a man the word of the Lord came to told him to go down and preach amen told him to go down there and tell him amen the word that he had given but he didn't want to do it so what he done he went down there and paid the fare yeah. and started going the other way uh -huh. come on he bought a ticket taking him 2200 miles away from where God told him to go. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. And what did he find out? Bible said he boarded the ship. And he got on. And they started sailing. It wasn't very long. Here come a storm. Yeah. Very boisterous. They started throwing everything overboard to light up the ship. And see if they can be saved. Uh -huh. Come on. Yes. Hey man, where was Jonah? Sleep. He down there sleeping. Right. Amen. Come on. They come down and woke him up, Hunter, and they said, Get up, call on your God. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Amen. Come on, that's a message everybody needs to hear. You need to get up and call on your God.
you, he Jesus. fell down, began to repent. And the word of God came again to Jonah. Listen to this. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go into Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose, went unto Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now, Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. Come on. Normally would take you three days. Come on. Uh -huh. But because of the zeal, Jonah began to enter into that a city a day's journey. Come on. Amen. He made up for some lost time, didn't he? Amen. In a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days, and then of us shall be overthrown. That's all he said. Yet forty days, and then of us shall be overthrown. They knew what all that meant. So you know what they did? So the people of Nineveh believed God. Yes, yes they did. How can they hear without a preacher? Come on, come on. How can he preach except he been sent? Yes. Come on, he been sent to preach a word. Amen. Even though it was just a few words, he had 40 days and God's going to overthrow this city. Yes. Amen. Yet that was the word that caused a nation to turn their hearts back to God. word they believed God and proclaimed a fast yes. put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least didn't matter what their stature in life was didn't matter if they lived in the white house or the black house amen from the kingdom amen to the poor man's throne amen everybody even beast and animal was required to fast Side 
with him. What would he do? I'll tell you. And then if they humble himself and pray and seek his faith, he said, I'll hear from heaven. I'll heal their land. I'll bring miracles. I'll bring deliverance. I'll bring back what the canker one has destroyed. I'll restore. I'll bring it back again. If my people, which are called by my name, would humble. Amen. Amen. Right. But humble themselves and That's right. Oh, hallelujah. You know who the invitation's for today? Whosoever we are. Right. The scripture said, let him come and drink water of life freely. That's right. No charge. Amen. No price of admission. Come and drink freely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody said a little while ago about being white. That's one of the things that Jesus said we was. We are the light. Right. We're the light of the world. Right. A city set on a hill cannot be healed. Now light ain't important to you unless you're in darkness. Right. If you're in a place where you can't see anything, just the smallest light uh -huh. means a whole lot to you. Amen. Oh, Amen. 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 We need to get our lights that have been hid under the bed, yeah. in yeah. the closet, Come on. and under the bushel. Yes. We need to set it on the stand. Yeah. So Isn't that 
good idea. You probably brought five goats with them, them plowed for 20 years, and they broke down, they ain't got, they ain't got much strength and energy left, but you got five goats oxen. Come on, brother. Come on, man. Preach. His will is towards you. Thank you, 
Jesus. He's not done saving. He's not done delivering. That's right. Amen. The power of sin. His business is not finished on earth. Amen. Yeah. Right. But he said, occupy. How long? Till he comes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Come on. He ain't came yet. So we gotta keep occupying. That's right. Yeah. Right. Come on. We gotta keep working. Work while it's day. Is that what he said? Yeah. Cause the night's coming. The night's gonna be when the light is pulled away from this earth. Yeah. Come on, the bride of Christ. That's the light. Amen. When that bride is gone, amen. There's darkness in. Right. Come on. There ain't no light left in the world. Amen. amen. But you feel around in gross darkness, yeah. wondering, wishing, oh, I wish I could get in Can't Creek Church. One more time, just to find that altar. Yeah, yeah, brother. Wish I could get there one more time. Because I realize now that I really do need him. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. We've got to be about the Father's business. Come on, stand to your feet, church.